Recently I discovered Haiku, a new operating system, actually not that new, actually already around 20 years in the making, at least if you count BOS. So anyway, uh, Haiku, a great operating system for the desktop because it's really focused on the desktop experience. It's not trying to be a server operating system or anything like that. It's really just focusing on the desktop. And as such, it reminds me very much of the original Macintosh operating system, which was a very, very usable, very simple system that introduced many of the common GUI concepts that we are taking for granted today. So if I'm opening some windows, as we can see here, every folder gets its own window, which is again like the first version of the Macintosh operating system. And what is cool about that is that you can also switch the window to show icons. And now we can start arranging those icons so that we can group things together that belong together and yeah, just set up the whole folder in a way that that appeals to to your style of working now when i close this window and open the window again i would expect this to remain uh, but as a matter of fact it doesn't i think this is still a bug in haiku somewhere so i have to switch to icon view again and now all my nice arrangement is gone so I think that kind of defeats the purpose of having a spatial window manager, uh, which is the technical term for opening each folder in its own window. Uh, and I would really like to see the individual windows store their settings uh, so that when you come back to a window it looks originally like you, you left it last time. That would be a great addition to have. Now, this thing has a couple of more tricks on board. For example, if you have windows overlaying each other, guess what happens if I move something from this window to the topmost window? Actually, let's go in here and let's create just an empty text file for now. Now, uh, you should try to do the same thing on Linux to see actually the difference. Because in Haiku it's very easy to just go here and grab this thing and move it to the frontmost window. Done! Notice what didn't happen. The window that was in the back didn't come active. So let's do this trick again. Again, here is the topmost window and here is the window in the back. And I'm moving the file from the window in the back to the topmost window without activating the window in the back. Try this on your Linux desktop.